Welcome back. So we've learned Canada will get its first COVID-19 vaccines before the end of the month. It's a step one of a much larger rollout, but it wasn't that long ago Canada was faced with a similar challenge. Now think back to 2009. That's when the world was hit by H1N1. Maybe you remember it as swine flu. The scale of that pandemic was very different. Even by the end, officially recorded deaths in Canada in the hundreds, not the thousands. But at the time, Canada launched what was its largest immunization effort ever. It was ambitious, but it hit bumps in the road almost immediately. Canada was relying on just one vaccine manufacturer for starters, which meant a limited supply. It also lacked the manpower to get those vaccines into people, which meant long waits. So what lessons have we learned? And how might this pandemic's vaccine rollout be different? Well, Dr. Allison McGeer is an infectious diseases specialist and knows exactly what healthcare providers were faced with during H1N1 because she was there. Uh, Dr. McGeer, hello to you. Maybe I'll just start with the first question of what keeps you up at night this time around, this pandemic, this vaccine rollout? So what, what actually worries me the most about this vaccine rollout is how well we'll do about getting information to Canadians so they're confident in the vaccine. The, the logistics we can handle. It'll be pain. There will be long waits. There's all sorts of bad things that go with it, but it's all manageable. But this is a new vaccine. It's different than vaccines we've tried before. People are going to be worried about it. And we need to get a lot of information to a lot of people in a really short period of time to make this vaccination program work. So that answer actually surprises me a little bit. I expected the logistics to be the heavier lift here. I mean, even just in manufacturing and procurement. I mean, sure, we've got several international suppliers, so maybe lots of eggs in lots of different baskets. But without any real direct control over any of them. Isn't that concerning? Well, of course, everything's a concern and, and logistics and procurement are, are really challenging. I, I didn't say they were gonna be easy. You just asked me what was <laughs> I most worried, all right? It, it is gonna be hard, but on the other hand, we've got a lot of good people working on it um, and and a lot of will to, to make the system work. So is it gonna be bumpy? Absolutely. Um, you know, it, it, it's not gonna go perfectly smoothly, but it, it will go. On the other hand, people's anxieties about getting a vaccine, particularly when we've all kind of gotten a little bit used to COVID. It's not as scary as it used to be, mm. doesn't seem as dangerous in some ways. Um, may mean that, that we have a hard time getting information to people so that they get their vaccine. Are, are there more differences between H1N1 and COVID than similarities? I mean, like, are, are there sort of direct lessons that, that you can think of or that we can draw from you know, a little over 10 years ago and apply them this time around? So, yeah, for sure, there are lessons. You know, that, that was a very big program. It was run primarily by public health. I think the people who did logistics for the 2009 program and, and figured out how to get those clinics up and running, that's very useful, no question. On the other hand, this was a very different vaccine. You know, we the regular flu vaccine, although it felt like it took a while to come, it was actually only a matter of weeks to get all of the vaccine uh, availability in. And so th this is going to be much more challenging because it's going to go on for longer. We're going to have to be more targeted in our initial vaccine use. Vaccine storage is a big issue. Getting two doses into people is another big mm. problem with it. So um, this is actually a much bigger logistical challenge than, than we faced in 2009. Dr. McGeer, your insights are always needed and appreciated. Thank you for your time. Pleasure to talk to you. Take care.